What's up, GQ? I'm Diplo, and these are my essentials. First up, cowboy hat. Am I supposed to wear that, or is it my essential? Always bring a nice cowboy hat. It's actually difficult to travel with one. You gotta bring a cowboy hat. I have a bun in my hair, so it doesn't really sit on my head right now, but you have to bring a hat box, so it's like a circle. Put them on your flight, and your overhead compartment. I just like them now, I love them, like the shape. We had made a couple of special outfits for different shows and award ceremonies. I'll probably keep wearing them until I finish this uh, Thomas Wesley project, but I think I'm addicted to cowboy hats and boots now. It's just become a thing. Always bringing headphones on the road. I'm not a big AirPod guy. I'm addicted to noise canceling headphones. These bows, really good. They're, kind of, they're not that cool. When you have AirPods, you look cool. You look rich, right? These you got put on your neck. When you put these on, you literally can't hear anything else. Music sounds so good on these. I can mix records on these. I can vibe out with them. This is another set of them. This is actually, my friend uh, started a company called Silent Mode. And these you put on when you take on a red eye flight. You can actually open this up and move the speaker to fit your head perfectly. So it's the same as a noise canceling pair of headphones, but it's got a total blackout mask that's comfortable and you can sleep with this. You know, if you have a, your phone, you have like different apps where you can listen to the relaxing sounds or even like, you know, heavy metal if you want to. Always bring a book. As a bookmark, I have my, my sons, so I can always keep them close. Even though there's a bunch of pictures on my phone too, but I haven't started reading this book yet, so can't tell you if it's good or not, but William Nelson's super cool. I love books about musicians and historical figures, and I love nonfiction. Books like Sapiens, Homo Deus, and Howard Zinn, and anything about history, culture. Never met Willie Nelson. I want to get him to send me a package of his marijuana, though. Willie's Reserve, it's pretty good stuff I heard. Snoop Dogg says Willie Nelson's the only guy that can outsmoke him. So that's kind of a big accomplishment. That was a hook shot. This is the OP1. This is made by a company called Teenage Engineering. It actually comes with a case that's similar to like the Velcro of the sleeping mask. And this thing is so cool. It's very, very sturdy. It's got my name on it because people try to steal it from my studio. For a while, they're really in demand. You know, they only made a couple hundred of them and I got it really early from the Swedish company that makes them. You can literally do like a sequence on here, you can, I, I use it as a MIDI keyboard while I'm on the road. You can do so many things on this. It has a million presets. You can always install more sounds on it, so it's always able to upgrade. When you look at the screen, it's really beautiful too. All the different things that it does. Uh, has like weird effects. You go to the drum settings. Different presets. Anyway, it's hard to learn. It's, a, it's a, bit, a really big learning curve because it's a different DAW than anything else I would use, but you have to get a book and download it and print it to actually learn how to use it. I've only unlocked like 10% of what this does, so if I had more time, I would love to like learn this thing and just kill it. But for just making amazing sounds on the road, this is perfect. This is all my stuff. This is a dosis pen, so this is a pen that's a little more heavier on THC, less on CBD, and you smoke this. Every time you smoke one hit, it buzzes. It didn't even buzz this time. I don't wanna get too high, I gotta do this whole photo shoot. So it buzzes and that's one hit, so you can kinda like calculate how much you need to either sleep or get work done or no, because if you're just like rolling joints all the time, you don't really know what, you know, how much you're smoking or what you're doing. This is also good to sleep. This is a company called Key Coco. They make a tea that's a CBD tea that really like knocks you out. You don't feel high from it. I, I drink that when I'm on the road. And there's my vitamins. I take three a day, three packs. I take this, this times like three, almost 15 vitamins a day. And then I mix the weed tea in here too. In case I'm on the road, I want to store it, but it's probably illegal to cross borders with that, but whatever. I'm just crazy, I'm a rock star. Face moisturizer, Ole Hendrickson's a great company. They make a lot of different things from face masks to serums to um, just regular old moisturizer in the day. So sunscreen, this one's good. I'd use it, but I got like powder on my face right now. All right, this is, I'm looking like a pretty boring dad right here. Like nothing exciting. I don't have that many chains, but I, I keep them with me. A good Cuban things have a couple pair, like the different like layers on my neck. 
They look nice when you wear kind of Western shirts that are open and cowboy hats. I've been like rocking that style for a little while and it looks nice. It's my Spox from Atlanta. I wore some stuff at the VMAs, a multicolored rainbow, different gemstone, Cuban links chain. I'm not really a big jewelry person, but I like, I like Cuban links and like baguettes. There you go. I have a couple watches, but I actually never wear them. I think watches are actually good investments. Chains, not so much. It's hard to resell them, but watches, if you don't ice them out, you can resell them for more. If you got like a nice Patek or Rolex. I'm, a, I'm like the dad here, I'm like trying to tell you like you can buy watches as an investment, not like just to show off to your friends, so. All right, what else is exciting over there? You know what, bring over the wisps. These are great. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't like the fact that they're single use plastic. You gotta brush your teeth as much as possible, guys. Three times a day, all right? If you don't brush your teeth every day, I'm gonna find out where you live, I'm gonna beat your ass. I'm telling you right now, brush your teeth. If you can't, go to the gas station and buy these because they're little toothbrushes that you use once. The problem with these is that you start getting too comfortable using them and you're like walking around using them like in public and it's kind of disgusting. And I'm kind of, I do that sometimes. It's a little bit of toothpaste, I think, in the gel here, and it just kind of breaks in when you when it's wet, when you're saliva, and then you can floss with this side, brush with this side. Breast smells great. Talk to girls. You don't have like a piece of spaghetti in your teeth. This is a girl who gave me these. She taught me how to meditate, so when I hold these in two different hands, you kind of do your mantras, and I listen to her voice, and she speaks me through a, a little six, seven minute kind of coaching my meditation, so. I'll do it enough, I wish I'd do more meditation, but I'm trying to learn. A lot of my friends are, are producers and musicians, they all meditate, like Mark Ronson's are really big into transcendental meditation, so I wish I could do more of it, and I think that it helps you, if your life is chaotic, to kind of ground yourself and give you guys some more time that you need. People told me, Ashton Kutcher told me once that he meditates for 20 minutes, and it says it gives him two more extra hours of sleep every night that he doesn't get. That guy tells me weird stuff though when I see him, that guy's like, insane. I don't, whatever he does, he's doing the right thing, because he's, He's a boss. This one's from BMW, so I don't remember. Okay. Oh, I, was, I did a show for them again, I got this. I asked for a car. But I actually don't really drink coffee that much in a thermos. I kind of drink it in paper cups or when we make it at home. This is nice to have. You always have to have a water bottle with you so you don't use plastic water bottles. If you can afford it, and this is full of water too and you can take it around, it's so much better and you go to get refillable water everywhere you go and saves you a little money but also saves our planet. Another thing on the road, this is gonna like put it all together how, how much of a dad I am. This is a chess set you bring on, <laughs> on the road. I play with my friends that do know how to play, not many are like into chess like I am. My son plays chess with me a lot so it's nice to play with him. It's a great thing to have on the road. I don't have any video games, I'm not a video game guy. And I think every time you play chess and you get better at it, your minds probably get sharper. I suggest if you guys are bored with a new hobby, chess. I've been doing it for like 40 years, I swear to God, it just keeps it more fun every time, so. A little on the road chess set. I actually always keep a pair of shorts in my bag because when I'm on the road, I don't wanna waste any time. I wanna go straight when I get to the airport, straight in a car, I don't even wait for my luggage. I let someone else take it. I go straight to the hotel and go to the gym right when I land or go into a pool if they have one. Hopefully they have one, it's nice to have that to kind of like fix the, whatever jet lag I might have and just to feel uh, some energy. But I love to run and I ride bikes in the gym. I don't really ride bikes at home. I don't really bike because I live in Hollywood Hills so it's really hard to get the bike up and, up and down. Yeah. Sarah bikes a lot, Eric does too. People actually bike to my house, I don't know how they do it. It's easy. Yeah, whatever. This is a matcha bar drink. It's nice, it's like caffeine. I don't really like to drink too much caffeine. It doesn't really work for me, it makes me too jittery. I can't drink a Red Bull, but this is really good. It's not as strong, but it still gives you the energy you need and it's healthier. This is like condensed matcha. It's high grade natural caffeine with antioxidants, so it's, 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 it's healthy for you. Any green teas or matcha teas are, are naturally antioxidants, which is good. Even coffee is, is not bad for you in some ways. If you drink coffee in moderation, it's got a lot of antioxidants, which helps you, you know, live longer and stimulate your body in different ways in your mind. That's what caffeine does. It's all the rage right now, matcha. All right, well that was it guys. Thank you for checking out my essentials. I'm Diplo, this is all my stuff. Cool thing about the cowboy hats, you can put everything in there and just walk around with that too.